Hello and a very warm welcome back to Hughes Nursery. So today we're making a bean structure and here we have about 20 hazel sticks and these are about 8 foot long but if you don't have these you can also use bamboo which is what most people use. Here these are all the materials you need and the first thing you want to do is get some string or you can even use a garden twine or even bale of twine. Anything that basically holds something together. You want to cut this into about 12 inch uh, or uh, 30 centimeter long sections and then just as a warning some of my facial expressions I noticed as I was editing this video that some of my facial expressions are quite funny so watch out for those um, so basically what we're doing on this is going to be repeated on the other side of the raised bed is where these are two anchor points and we've created a trench and underneath the two uh, trenches we've filled it with compost ready to plant the beans which you'll actually see in next week's video. So the bed is about 12 foot long and this is at the 6 foot point so the halfway point and I'm going to repeat exactly what I did with the top end of the raised bed and just drive um, two more hazel sticks uh, down so after that you'll probably have about 16 sticks left and note how I'm using the, um, the plank to spread out my weight. Now I'm just uh, checking that the cross section works nicely and you'll see how this all uh, fits together. And now this is the bottom end and I'm using, I'm, I'm keeping the parsley there because it's really useful parsley and I really like just eating it. Strange to me, I know. And so I'm putting, this is right at the end, lash them together. You don't even have to be tidy for this as long as it can hold it up and I'm struggling right now to balance on the edge of the raised bed but as you can see the two crossbars fit together very nicely and this is the full view and yeah quite happy with how it's looking. So now I'm on both sides I'm going to put six uh, hazel sticks or as you'll probably be using bamboo sticks and I'm going to drive them into the ground and these are just to make sure that I know where it's going to be. I suppose you can begin to call this a bean structure now. So the next thing you want to do is take the, the poles on the far side and actually bring it underneath and you're going to do exactly the same as what you did with um, what you did right at the start with the anchor points. You want to create kind of a cross at the top and this is going to hold the cross beam in place and then tie it together. And this is a really fun thing to do. Um, I was planning to do this with my dad, but he was actually away, so I thought I'd just go ahead and surprise him for when he'll come back. And when you are doing it, it's best to just try and be tidy as possible, um, but don't worry if it isn't, because in a few weeks, the beans grow really quickly and will actually cover um, your uh, structure. Okay, now this is a really important part and I want everyone to take special care uh, of remembering this. You need to lash both ends and also the middle um, pole so the whole cross section goes together and supports each other. And then the ones that weren't actually moving with the whole structure, you're just going to quickly tie these together and then when you test it again, you'll see that the whole structure moves together and it just makes it far more sturdy. And now we're going to um, sturden it even further and this is going to help stop it from either falling over one way or getting blown over in the wind. You're going to use these nails, um, I think you can use normal nails and I have no idea what you call these, they probably have some special name. Um, but I'm using some stronger garden twine here and these are used to actually hold the structure in place and just simply tie it again at the top as simple as that and then this is what it should look like on the ground level just showing how they're spaced about a foot apart and here's the finished structure as you see what I just did in the last step I, um, I put that uh, garden twine on both ends and this is just to stop it from getting blown around in the wind and in next week's video we're going to be planting this up and I'm going to show you the whole process of uh, planting out uh, seedlings. 
So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like and comment and see you again very soon. Goodbye.